Oh, hey there. It's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. I've been keeping a secret and I think it's time to tell you. I can go anywhere with this portal effect. And it's not that hard. Let me show you how you can do the super cool portal effect like a certain Marvel film with Filmora 10. Before we get into editing the effect, we need some video footage. So first, let's film the green screen video. Place the camera on a tripod or a steady surface to have a fixed and steady frame. As we plan to put the portal on the right side, I'm going to stand on the left and pretend to create the portal on the right side. Then, we also need a clip of the destination where the subject is going to. Since I'm going to this location with the portal ring, the angle of the location must match the portal ring element we are using. Last but not least, we need a clip that can be used as the background of the green screen clip. I'm going to choose a video from stock footage for this example. Now that we have all three videos, let's bring them into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the background footage we chose for the green screen video onto the first track. Then drop the green screen video onto the second track. We need to key the green screen out to see the background video. So let's double click the green screen video on the timeline then go to the top left setting window. Find the chroma key section. I'm going to check the chroma key box. Now the green screen should be successfully keyed out. When the subject and background are ready, let's add a portal ring. Go to the top left element window, select the film stock folder and find superhero cinematic pack element 3. Drag and drop it onto the third video track. Double click on the portal ring clip, go to the top left setting window, find the transform section and activate the horizontal flip effect. Move the portal ring to the right side of the frame. Adjust the scale settings. Now if we look at the end of the portal ring, it's too slow when disappearing. So I'm going to make the cut here and speed up the part at the end. Also make sure the green screen clip subject disappears sooner than the portal ring. With all the adjustments done, move the green screen clip to the third video track and the portal ring clip to the second video track. Okay, next let's add the destination to the portal ring. Find the destination clip we filmed from the media library and drop it into the fourth video track. Go to the effect window and find image mask in the utility section. Drag and drop it onto the destination clip. Double click the destination clip and find the mask settings at the bottom of the top left window. Take the portal ring as a reference and adjust the scale and position of the mask. Let's set the feather to 30. Find the transform section. Feel free to adjust the settings to achieve the best results. All right, and we are ready to apply some transitions to connect it with the portal ring. Before that, let's move the green screen clip and the portal ring clips up and drag the destination clip to the second video track. Now, go to the transition window and find round zoom in from the basic section. Drop it at the beginning of the destination clip. Adjust the duration of the transition if needed. Move the playhead to find the spot where the subject walks into the portal ring. Trim the destination clip to let it end there. Go to the transition window and find round zoom out. Drop it at the end of the destination clip. Adjust the duration to an ideal length. All right, now when we play back the timeline, we can see that the subject is not inside the portal ring when walking into it. We can fix this quickly by duplicating the portal ring clip. Copy and paste the portal ring clip onto the fifth video track. Find the spot on the timeline where the subject steps into the portal ring. Make a cut here and delete the previous part. Let's double click the clip and find the compositing section in the setting window and change the blend mode to lighten. Now if we play back the timeline, it looks much better when the subject walks into the portal ring because the ring is now covering some part of the subject. Last but not least, let's add a shake effect to strengthen the portal effect. Go to the effect window and find the extreme effect in the shake section. Drop it onto the top video track. Adjust the duration to let it start at the spot where the portal ring forms and then end where the portal ring disappears. All right, let's check out the final look. The portal ring element we use in this example can be found on Filmsock in the Superhero Cinematic Pack. There are many more effects in this pack, so feel free to check it out at filmsock.wondershare.com. And there you go, that's how you can create super cool portal effects using Filmstock and Filmora Tech. Do you have any hidden superpowers? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we'd love to see you back. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye. And it's not that hard. Do you, let me show, okay. And it's not that hard. So let me show you how you can do this. And it's not that hard.